What up, YouTube, DJ Tita the Preacher, back with another video. And today, you know what I mean, I have a brother, Christian the Bose. You know, I follow this guy on Facebook because, you know, he's going through something similar to what I'm going through. Um, and I just can't really say too much about my situation because I'm actually in court for mine. I haven't really seen my kid in almost three years. Um, my little girl, Miss You Kenzie. Um, but he's speaking on something that I, I really get emotional on speaking on. And I get all out of control and start saying stuff I'm not supposed to say. So he's speaking on it and he's saying stuff that I can relate to and he's speaking on it very sensibly. Um, he's not getting out of control and he's letting you know that he's not really trying to talk anyone down. So I want you guys to kind of mix it out. Um, this is South Carolina I'm talking about. I don't know about Georgia. I don't know about North Carolina or anywhere else. I don't have any other kids anywhere else. I don't, I'm just in South Carolina. So with that being said, um, we're speaking on South Carolina and the system in South Carolina that moms have full control and they didn't make these kids by themselves. And it doesn't make sense that a man could do so much, but you still want so much for a man, even though he's in his life because you're bitter. But um, with that being said, we're not here to talk down on anyone. We're just here to talk about a system that is not treating us fair. And with that being said, if you're watching this, please don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. That really helps a lot. Like, again, thanks for watching. DJ Teacher. And I'm out. I'm going to wait for some more people to come on, man. So I want to... Um definitely be as positive as possible when doing this video um first i want to preface I, I, and and you're gonna you're gonna hear me say this several times throughout this video by no means am i gonna disrespect my child's mom i'm not trying to disrespect my son's mom at all um and when, when a person's telling their story, okay, when a person's telling their story, sometimes other people are in their story. And when other people are in their story, sometimes it, there are individuals that maybe say, they may say, well, dang, he's trying to dog that person out. But no, not necessarily. If, if you're telling the truth, then you're not dogging anyone out. You're telling your story. And especially if you're telling what happened to you personally. So I want to start with this. And I, I, like I, I, I put in the video um, to all the good dads, and I meant to say good dads because this is for good dads. A lot of good dads get taken advantage of, and there are some dudes that don't do their job. I get it. There's some, there's some brothers that don't do the shit that they're supposed to do, and we're not talking about them. We're talking about the guys that do their job, the guys that are there doing their job. So some of you may know, I, um, and I want to do this video because I want to be able to help some brothers that are going through child support or maybe in a situation of um, you have you maybe in a relationship and y'all broke up and y'all, you know, you just co-parenting and nothing's on the books. So the state of South Carolina and in the state of South Carolina, automatically the woman is considered a custodial parent. I didn't really, cons I didn't, wasn't concerned about that personally um, because I, you know, I'm, I'm going to do my job as a father. And those, pe those people that know me personally know I'm a father. Like, I, I, I don't play, you know, I might do some fucked up shit as, you know, personally in my personal life. But I don't, take, I don't take fatherhood as a joke. I don't take it lightly. And I know how, um, for me personally, I know how important it is for me to be there in my kids' lives. And so, because I never, I never knew my father. And so by... For, for that for that alone, me not ever knowing my father, I personally make sure I go above and beyond. So my, um, my relationship with my son's mom ended uh, maybe like two years ago. Um, we broke up like two years ago. So when we broke up, um, I, yeah, I was hurt. I thought we was going to be a family. That's life. Things didn't work out. So, um, you know, she left and well, I'm so attached to my son I made sure that I, we had an arrangement where I have my child every other week. She have him a week and I have him a week so that, you know, we can co-parent with our son. He has both of his parents. We don't live far. We didn't. Well, initially, you know, she moved somewhere else. And so I was keeping him for a while until she got straight. And she when she moved to her place, hey, she didn't live far from me. So it worked out. You know, what I'm saying it's close. So it worked out. Um, so I'm keep. You know, I have my son every other week and she has him every other week. I pay child. I pay. I pay for child care 
Um, I've been doing that for, you know, since we separated, I paid for the childcare and she had a week, I have a week. So I'm thinking that's fine. That's where things work out. So I get a letter in the mail I, for child support. And I'm like, for what reason? I'm thinking, okay, for me, it just baffles me that that would be the case. And so, well, went to court. And so when, and I say this because I want, I want men to know there's a formula that they go by when you go to court. See, what happens is most times when men go to court, they're not in their kids' lives. And so when they go to child, when there's child support, when there's a child support situation, a lot of men are not in their kids' lives. So what happens is when you go into court, the, the child live, basically lives with the mom. And so they factor everything in. So when I went in, I had to make sure that everything is factored in because when we're talking about child support, we're talking about like time with your child. We're talking about not just money spent. So we go in and um, I'm, I had to establish, I made sure you and know, I spoke to the attorney and it's like, listen, I hey, um, just wanted to know it, what's factoring in because, you know, I've been for the past two years, I've had my son every other week and she's had him every other week and that's worked and I've been paying childcare. So he said, yeah, that's factored in. I said, okay, well, if that's factored in, then the playing field is equal. So he said, well, only thing we go by is the finances. Okay, cool. Come to find out, she took me to court for, for child support. She makes more than me. Hmm. So he says, ma'am, you can't get any money from him. So I'm, this is what happened to me. Now, I'm not telling, I'm not trying to dog her out. I'm telling you what happened to me. This is my story. So I have to keep saying that because I don't want individuals to be like, well, he's trying to dog her out. No, I'm not trying to dog her out. I'm telling you what happened to me. Like, my, this is my situation. So I'm in there now, and he's like, well, you make too much money. So basically, you you don't even need the money. You know what I'm saying? So there are a lot of guys that are in these situations. So I tell you this. When you go, guys, what I need you to do, establish a situation. If you break up with if you break up with your with with with, with your child's mom, make sure that you have the relationship with your child. Make sure you establish that. If if you can work it out where you can have it equal time with your child, then do that. If, if you can, if you can work that out, because for me, it works. I love, I enjoy seeing my son every day. You know what I'm saying? Like I, he loves me. I adore him. I, he's my hero. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I get, I get all googly when I see him, when he sees me, everybody that knows me knows that's how our relationship is. Cause I've been there like from day one and I know how important it is. Cause I never knew my father. And so for me, it worked out that I can have him a week. She can have him a week. And so I'm thinking that's cool. But for some people to see the system has it to where, a lot of a lot of people, a lot of women feel as though they can manipulate it just because. And then now that it doesn't work in your favor, you know, there's going to be animosity. I feel that, that's another a whole other story. But I just wanted to do this video. So I, I need it. I need you fellas when when make sure you establish that. Make sure you doing your job. So if you ever have to go to a situation like that, let them know, hey, I have my child just as much as she has her child. Um, I pay probably more than what she's paying per month and then let them, that's once the playing field is established there, then they look into the finances. But my thing is, if you have, there are so many, this is, this is what bothers me the most about situations like this, because I'm around so many sucker ass niggas that don't do shit for their kids. There are so many brothers that don't do shit for their kids to where I felt embarrassed being down there. Like as much as I, listen. When I had to go to court the other day, Tuesday, election day, when I had to go to court on Tuesday, it was my, so I have my son every other week. So it was my week to have my son. So I had to, I had to find a babysitter, right? I had to find a babysitter to take my son, to drop him off so I can go to court to see about paying for a child that, I, that, that's, uh, that I'm, uh, that's already in my care. This is how the system is fucked up. This is really fucked up. So I just wanted to let y'all know, brothers, like I said, once again, I'm not trying to dog my son's mom out. Hey, people people have do different things, different mentalities, whatever. I just want y'all to see how the system is and guys protect yourself. Be a good father. If you're a sucker ass dude and you're not doing nothing for your kids, then this ain't for you. If you're doing your job and you're, you're there in your child's life and you're an intricate part in your child's life and people are doing things just to be vindictive, make sure you cover yourself, brother. 
Really, make sure you cover yourself. Seriously, because it's terrible that we would even have to be in a situation like this to have to put a system involved when you have brothers that are really doing their job. I mean, active. Like, I'm... Uh, I'm baffled because I'm, when I say I'm there, everybody, I'm, I don't even have, it's not even something I, I do for show. I love, I will die for my kids, all of them, like for real, like my 22 year old still lives here. He's a, he's, you know what I'm saying? He still lives here. Am I just a, a Citadel grad? He still lives here. My two year old. Yeah. I mean, I mean my four year old, but I just say, Brothers, man, you got to be strong out here because there are going to be some obstacles that you're going to have to overcome. Some people don't grow up until later. It happens, bro. It happens. You know what I'm saying? But those obstacles, you got to do it for your child. As long as you're in your kid's life, everything else is going to work out. You know, I, I had a problem. It, I know before I said some things about her and I, you know, I shouldn't have said those things. Um, and, you know, it, it was it, it was it. I had some, I had some growing. I still have to do. That's why this video has a it has a different tone. I don't want to, I don't want to be that type of guy. I want to be able to send a message to some brothers that really need to hit us, like for real. Really, there's some brothers that really need to hit us, bro. Because I know some of y'all are going through some stuff, and you you do have rights, bro. You can go down and you can actually, if you're doing your job, you can go down and put yourself on child support, man. It make but make sure you're doing your job. Like have your child in your life. You know what I'm saying? Pick get your kid. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your kid. You know what I'm saying? Pay the pay for their school. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? When it's, when it's time to take care of your child, take care of your child. That's basically and everything else will work itself out. I went down there and I was I was scared because I thought the system, the system, it's kind of it's kind of tainted. But the fact that they factor in when you are really doing your job. You know what I'm saying? When you are really being a father, they factor that in. And I was I was happy to know the system really factored that in. The, the fact that the attorney wrote it down. And, and see, this is another thing. What happens is when you go to situations like this, the attorney wrote it down that we have been co-parenting for the past two years with no problems. I've been paying for his his daycare. She's she had I, for for the past two years. That's one hundred and eighty five or one hundred and seventy five dollars a week, and I still have them. There's just as much as she has them. So he wrote this down, and these are in the notes. So these are this is in our file. So when I say this to say, fellas, when that's in your file and you have it already established, if something deviates from that, then they look at that file and they'll say if if, if there's nothing extraneous, like if you're not doing nothing crazy. They will already understand that it would be something vindictive that the other parent is doing. So as a father, you do have rights. It's kind of like a side way to get your rights. But once it's on that paper and I have it's notarized and everything. So if anything happened or she, you know, somebody try to keep your child from you it's like, oh, this is my week. Like we've been doing this for the past two years. This see the, the judge even signed off on this. He even acknowledged it in, in court that, yeah, this is what. Yeah, we've been doing this. He closed this case, but he's acknowledged that, hey, we've been doing this past two years. Why can't and I get my son what's the problem there shouldn't be a problem that's what you have you have to get your get it in it's a, it's a roundabout way bro but shit you got something in writing and you, you win it and it's, it's sad that we have to um because I told one of my friends I was like yo I went to court and they was like yo you don't you know you're doing your job you don't have to pay child support my, you know my bro told me he was like yo congratulations and I was I had to think about that and it's sad it's sad that we have to congratulate a brother for not getting fucked over. Don't you think Think about that? It's sad that we congratulate him brothers for not getting dicked. We got to do something about this, man. First, we got to be better fathers. So, just fuck a system. First, we got to be better fathers. It starts there. So, when you are a, a, when you are a good father, it, it, you, you, things will work out for you because... That's just how it's going to work out for you because you're doing your job. So you first got to be a better father. After that, then you have to, if, if you go through these type of situations, you got to go through it. You got to do what you have to do, bro. But be the better father, be the better person. So I hope this helps some, some of my brothers. Hope this gave, gave some knowledge on how the system works and things that they put into, you know, put into play and how they factor things in. And so, um, this is, you know, I just wanted to tell some, some, some of y'all, some, you know, this, maybe this could help some people, you know.
So, like I said, once again, I definitely not trying to disrespect my son's mom. I wish her the much, the, I wish her the, the best in life. I just want to be a father to my son and be the, treated fair. You know what I'm saying? Like be treated fair. That's all. They'll say, I'm doing my job. You don't need my money. You make enough money. The court said you made more money than me. Why would you need my money? Like, for real, that's... See, I can't... I don't understand that. That's greed. People look and see things you... Possibly, things you're doing or thing, things... Perception is everything. When people think you're doing... Oh, he making moves. He doing that the third. He got to have... Stop. He's still doing his job as a father. That's the only thing you need to worry about. But some people worrying about everything else that doesn't matter. So, hey, I love y'all. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right, Angie. Hey, you're right. You're right. Stop using them as a pawn. So, you know, I get that. You know, I, I know fellas get that. You can't see your kids. I know fella, fellas. I know that that's that that's that crazy shit, bro. I know, you know, a lot of women are say stupid shit like that. You can't see your kids. And, you know, that's this. We, you know, we, we want better, better men. We want better fathers, but we, we all have a job to do. Like uh, even us as, as men, I, I have to encourage my brothers to be better and do better. Cause I don't want to be around people that are not doing their job for their kids. And as women, we have to do the same thing. Um, because if you're dating a guy that's not taking care of his kids, you're encouraging a guy that has kids that are not from you and you're dating them and he's not taking care. Um, um, so, and in, in you're encouraging him. I appreciate that sister. So, um, appreciate it, Rhoda. So I don't want to get emotional cause I know this shit, you know, I, I would die for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, and there are times, you know, I, and this is my story. So I just want y'all to know, you know, the sacrifices I make for my child because I want to know where my son is at times. I, you know, I don't have family. I have a 22 year old son here and just a four year old child. That's the only family I have here in Charleston. And so, you know, I have friends. And so, you know, when she started working, you know, she worked third shift. I, I, I want, I, I was keeping my son while she worked, you know, cause that's, I, cause I want to know where he's at. I, you know what I'm saying? I want to be there. I, 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 you know, I don't, you don't need to get a babysitter. Hell, I'm his dad. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's, I don't want to get too, I don't want to get too personal because once again, like I said, I don't, I don't want this to just seem like I'm dogging her. You know what I'm saying? I love you too, star. You know what I mean? I love you too, bro. So, um, I don't want this to seem like I'm trying to, this ain't about her. It's about the bros, man. It's about the bros. It's about shit that we go through, man, and shit that we've had to, just overcome, man, over some some foolery, man. And it, trust me, bro, you're gonna be alright, man. You're gonna be alright, cause I know, like, when my four year old, when he when he gets in high school, he becomes like a man and an adult. I know he's gonna appreciate the sacrifices that I like. I go above and beyond to make sure I'm there for that nigga, man. And now he's gonna appreciate it, man. Anything like the anything like the best for my son, man. So. It's gonna be all worth it, man. At the end of the day, cause I'm like so proud. I'm, I'm proud of all my kids, man. My oldest son, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of my middle son. I mean, we got a little grad in the house, man. Like word, like how many brothers you know got a little grad in the house, bro? Niggas doing real shit out here, man. Niggas is like niggas raising real kings, man. Like for real, man. Like this ain't no game. This is no game, bro. There's a lot of brothers getting dicked out here on some bullshit, bro. And I can see it, like I can see it, cause I can see brothers going in there and not be prepared. I can see brothers going in there and not be and not spending time with their kids. I can see it. I can see them in the frustration of some brothers who probably want to be there for their kids and, and be and be in relationships with women who would be like, yo, you can't see your kids over stupid shit. You might have a new girlfriend, or you might be, you might be, you might have a new job, or you, you know, what I'm saying she might be envious that you might not want her no more, or just just spiteful. I'm just saying I don't know what things, I don't know what people be thinking in their head, but that's just what that's what happens, and when you have a control over a baby, a person, and that's crazy how uh, how one individual can have control over a child, and that's two people's. Like it takes two people to make a child. It does. It takes two people. Now I'm not saying 
that every nigga is doing his shit. Every nigga is doing his job. But it takes two people to make a child. No, a woman is not more, a woman is no more of a parent than a father. So it's crazy that, like, you know, the state, like, I can have my son and she can call the police and be like, yo, I want to get him for no reason. Just because she want to get him. That shit happened, bro. That ha that's, my, that's my story. That happened. That happened. But. Hey, bro. Get your rights, man. But get your rights, bro. I'm telling you. I just gave you a little pathway. The first pathway is being a good father. That's it. That's the first pathway, being a good father. Being a mentor, talking to your kids. I, you know, I read to my son every night. You know, my son, it's hard for me to even drop my son off to people. Because, like, if, 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 if I was to drop my son off to somebody, and, like, my god sister, I dropped my she'll keep him for me sometime. Or my girlfriend. Well, he's real comfortable with Rebecca. And so, that's, he's cool with her. But my son would be like, Where's my daddy at? Like every five minutes, where my daddy? Where my daddy? Where my daddy? <laughs> so it's me, for me, it's hard for me to even because I'm so attached to him. He's attached to me, so you know what I'm saying. So I um and I know that there are a lot of fathers out here like that, bro. I know that I'm, I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only fathers attached to their kids, man. I know that, man. I know and I know you you go through a hard time, man, when you, when you're dealing with people who have control over a life that you were a part of, you know? Cause how can tell how can someone tell you you can't see a, your child? How can someone tell you that? You know, like that it's crazy. And I know a lot of brothers go through that. There are a lot of brothers that go through that. Hey, you ain't gonna be to see your child. And and, and, and it be for the craziest reasons. Like craziest reasons. I, I and, and I, there's some women on this on this, on this thread right here right now. And I'm some of y'all if you in your heart of hearts and you can be solid, be one hundred with yourself. Maybe some of y'all even said that to your child's father out of spite, just being mean, just being angry. Honestly, I challenge each and every one of y'all to be better people, like real talk, real talk. I mean, I ain't calling none of y'all out, but transparency is everything, right? You know, like real talk, man. How we gonna how we gonna be better people? How we gonna raise better kids? How we gonna be better, like better women, better better men, better better mothers, better fathers, man? If we can't be solid and be one hundred, like some of y'all really said that to your child's father for reason that y'all shouldn't have said it. He might have had a, a, you know, what I'm saying he just might didn't want you no more. He might didn't give you something that you wanted, or he might got a new girlfriend or something like that. Now I'm just saying these are situations that a lot of guys go through. So I'm just wanted to map this shit out because we sometimes we not honest with ourselves with a lot of shit, and that's why a lot of people. And I know some people. One of my home, you know, a couple of my homies like, man, you don't don't do that video, don't, don't say nothing. And I'm like, well, well, why not say nothing? Why not? Why not? That's the problem. A lot of people don't say shit because a lot of people don't get shit because they don't say shit, and, and a lot of us are not as transparent as we should be and we live in this lie that we've been living for so fucking long but you know it is who it is but um you know it's, it's it, and, and i've noticed like motherfuckers is society like to hate on a nigga doing shit like and, and if you especially if you're doing some like positive shit like oh a nigga doing nigga taking care of his kids like how you why you hate on that nigga got they got a solid relationship like why you hate on that? You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying people in general, like that's what people do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see how LeBron, LeBron gets hated on a lot. Like LeBron, LeBron, one of the niggas, LeBron got a good family. He ain't never been no mix up. LeBron, like, but niggas still want hate on LeBron. Like real talk. Like that's just what we do for nothing. For nothing. For nothing. What we get, what we get out of that shit, man? Instead of you telling a nigga, yo, bro, tell you, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. How did you do that, bro? Let me, how can I do that? Yo, I see you. I see you, you know what I'm saying? Like you and your girl got da 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 or you you doing this or you doing that. Like, bro, how can I get down? Like, what can I do instead of, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just on the hate shit. Because that's just, uh, I see that shit a lot. We see it a lot. But let me, I ain't gonna get off track. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna wrap this up. I appreciate y'all. Um, I hope this video was informative. I really hope it helps some individuals and just shed some light on some stuff, so especially for the guys. I, um, I want y'all to I want y'all to be better fathers, man. Encourage me to be a better father. Cause I mean, I I'm trying my best every day, man. It ain't easy. Trust me, it ain't easy. There's no map for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you, I never had a dad. I, nobody really showed me how to do this shit. So I just know I gotta be there. I just know my son need me. I know my kids need me. I know all my kids need me. I just know I gotta be there. That's all I need to know. You know what I'm saying? As long as you got that in your head, fellas, as long as you gotta be there, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about there. I'm talking about not just a phone call. I'm talking about bruh. 
get your kids, bruh. Like real talk. And sometimes like, you know, these women need these women need a goddamn break, bruh. If you get you just getting your kids every other weekend, that, that ain't cool. Now I don't think that's cool for me personally. I don't I would never try to just get my kids every other weekend. I, I really want my kids. You know what I'm saying? I would love my kids to be here. That's why my kids live with me. Like so it's like I don't want no every I know other weekend type type nigga. Like I really want to see my kid every day, you know what I'm saying? So and you know, I I can they got like the monitor shit and I get little pictures from daycare like on the weeks that I'm not not you know I don't have them so I'm maybe you know I'm able to visually see them and so you but for, for a lot of guys I need you to to be more intricate in your kids life because there there are some people that are going to be influencing your kids and you don't want them not to be you okay you want your influence to be on your child but you got to be good people, too. You know what I'm saying? Good at heart. You got to be about your shit. So, um, and that's a whole nother story. But so, that, for, for, first and foremost, just be there, man. Be there. Understand that you got to be there. I'm talking about pick, get your kid. Don't do that every other weekend thing, man. Get your kid. Get, get your child, man. Give her a break, man. These women need a break, too. I know it's, I know if, I know plenty of women right now. I know thousands of women right now that would, that would love to have a, uh, if, their, if their child's father would tell them, hey, um, I want to get them this. I want to get them every other week. That works. You get them a week, and I get a week. I know, I know, I know a million right now. Females would be like, "Fuck yeah, hell yeah, get them, please, get this, get, please." Because I mean that. It, I mean, how I many do? How I many dudes doing that? How I many dudes do on their own? Like not even with no system. Like on their own, just doing it because that's what they want to do. They know it's important to do that. Like why? Who do? Like why stop that? Why come in between that? Like you got that? How many systems would want that? See, that's the part that baffles me when, when people do stuff just out of spite for no reason. You know what I mean? What up, Sheeta? So, uh, let me stop. I love y'all. Uh, like I said, I ain't bashing. I'm not bashing my son's mom at all. Trust me, I'm not bashing. I'm telling my story. This is what happened to me. Hell, I was hurt by it, but hell, at this point, I feel vindicated because I understand that. The, the court system actually recognized that I, a father's really doing his job. Like, really, he's really doing his job. Like, bro, I have him half the time. I have him, I have him, I have him every other week, and I pay him about seven hundred dollars in childcare a month. What more you want? What like, like for real? What the fuck more? Excuse me. What more could a person want? Then when you call, if you need me, like if you got to work third shift, if you need me, I, hey, drop my son off. I'm home. Come on. Anytime. But then you still want to. And that's just the, that's the thing. I know a lot of guys go through this. They go through this. We got to stop it, bro. You got to put your, you got to establish, establish. If you got to go down there and put yourself on there, put it on there, bro. I was scared of it, but now I understand it now. I understand it. So now that I understand it, I, I want to make sure y'all understand it. So the first, you got to be a good father. Make sure you're in your kid life. Make sure that's taken care of. Once that's taken care of, and, you know, that means that's half of it there. You know what I'm saying? Because you, if you're spending half the time with your child, then half the expenses. Then they factor in the incomes. Then you're good. Like, you're good. If you make more than her, you may have to pay her a little bit of change, but you're doing your job. Be there as a father first. You see what I'm saying? If she make more than you, she might have to pay you a little bit of change. She might not like that shit. <laughs> she about to like that shit. But see, you play silly games, get silly prizes. I'm going to end it with that. You already know what's going on. Peace.